This next lab is going to cover file carving or file recovery. So first thing we'll do is we'll copy a lab folder over to our C drive. Inside this folder you see two zip files, winhex, extract that. And then the recover me zip file. Um, we had issues when you extract it with the windows built in, it actually changed the file date and time um, stamps. So we use Win or uh, 7 zip. Inside this folder, you see a bunch of files. Um, they're similar to files you may get if you recovered a hard drive. So I sorted by date modified, you'll you'll see the 258 group, and then you'll see the 309 group. We're going to work with the 309 group. First thing I'm going to do is open up WinHex. So the lab actually says you need to install it, but you can actually just run it by clicking, double clicking WinHex. And I'm going to open up all those chunks of files. Select all of the 309. Okay, so we'll start off with the first one. Let's we'll kind of go through these files looking for headers and footers, um, anything that looks like something we can recover. So the first one we open, it's kind of short compared to like these other ones are a lot longer. Um, it actually has FFD9, which is the footer or the end of file for a JPEG file. So this is probably our last file in the group of files. I'll continue to go through these. Okay, then we come to 3230, and this has FFD8, which signifies the header or the beginning of the file for a JPEG file. And then you come over here and you can kind of see some metadata about the file or contained within the file. And five three five eight kind of looks like it's a continuation of the 3230. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is try to concatenate these files. Um, you can actually do it in win hex, but to me it's a little too slow to try to do that, so it's easier to just do it from command line. Okay, here's a directory with all those files. And you can do this with Unix by using the cat. We're just going to do Windows with a type command. And you choose the first file, which is 3230. And what we suspect is our second file, which I believe was, what was that one? 5358. And our third or last file, because we don't know what goes in between right now. So our last file is 0249. And then we'll output it to a JPEG. So you type that, that command and basically it takes those three files and concatenates them together. So within that directory, you'll see the recover.jpg file, and you see it's how it's starting to piece together uh, a JPEG. So from here, it's just a matter of kind of brute forcing it by just you know selecting different files to go in here, different order. Um, 
we know these these two are the first two and then this is the last one so now we gotta find some files to go in the middle so next we'll just try like um, 1295 which is the next file now if we take a look at the file oh I see how it's kinda of messed up now so that must not be right So, I mean, you can just keep going through this in any order you want, or it's probably easier to just go in order, but I'm going to go with 7812 as the next one. If we open it now, see how it kind of pieces more together. So this right here is just kind of where it's, there's a continuation, so the next file will kind of fill this in. So... Like I said, you'd have to keep going through and just keep adding them on. Um, in this directory, we actually have a batch file that has a correct order. So if you just more it, and you can see here's the actual correct order. Put the file actually back together. So we double click it now, you'll see it's the full recovered file. Now if you're to try that on the, the 258, you'll actually get an incomplete file. This file is kind of corrupt. And the part of the scoring on this one is to try to figure out which one is the correct image. So the one at 0309 is the correct image. So this completes the lab for the file recovery or the file carving.